What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first vlog of 2022. I did let you guys know that we actually tested positive for COVID a few weeks back. As soon as we like officially recovered from COVID, we just started like cleaning and purging the house. So luckily we took all the Christmas stuff down and you know, we did a lot of organizing. I've had a lot of help from Stephen Lee and Lena. It's been so nice. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of intro this video and just talk to you guys and just catch you up on where I've been and what I've been up to. Like I said, I literally was just recovering and just purging, cleaning the house. That's kind of where I'm at. Today's Saturday. It's about 4 p.m. and I just got this like urge to go to Home Goods because I actually ended up getting a Nespresso as one of my Christmas gifts and I actually haven't even opened it you guys and it's because like I told you I had lost my sense of taste and smell and I just I didn't want to do Nespresso like that like I wanted to be able to taste my coffee and enjoy it and I feel like I'm finally starting to get like my taste bud taste buds back I'm excited and I want to set up a cute little like coffee bar area and just kind of spruce it up for the new year so I want to go to Home Goods and find some cute things to set up in the coffee bar so I thought that would be fun So we actually just got home from brunch as you guys saw we ended up going to one of our favorite spots they actually specialize in like arepas it's really really good i wanted to show you guys some stuff that i picked up for the coffee bar as you guys saw yesterday we went to home goods but i never got to show you guys what i ended up grabbing and i also went to a few other spots and um just picked up random little knickknacks to use on the coffee bar so i'm gonna start with the home goods stuff i really just went and grabbed some syrups and then some mugs it's really all i could find so i just got the skinny syrups brand <laughs> i got the salted caramel because it sounded really good and then i got the vanilla i also went and got some more double walled mugs you guys know i have the tall latte cups but i wanted just some nice basic mugs and i thought these were cute let's go ahead and open these up these actually remind me a lot of the tall cups that i already have but i really like that the top of them wasn't like too tapered in if you can see they're a little bit skinnier at the bottom and then they get wider at the top and i like that because i usually have some foam going i just thought they were really cute so i'm I'm glad I got those. For the syrups, we actually ended up going to Bed Bath & Beyond and they had the pumps there. So I went ahead and grabbed them. They're actually from the same brand. So if you're looking for pumps and you don't want to order on Amazon, just go to Bed Bath & Beyond because they have them there. So I got um, two of those <laughs> and I also grabbed some of the Starbucks uh, Nespresso pods. If you don't know, Starbucks does make these. Um, they're just a little tricky to find. So uh, normally you can find them at Target, but you have to go to the section where they actually sell the coffee machines. Uh, so that's where I found mine. I got the Columbia one and then I got the Pike's Place. So then at Target, I actually found this cute little um, mini bar cart. So I thought it would be really appropriate for a coffee bar. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just put like my little, um, 
like my cinnamon or my pumpkin spice or you know little knickknacks i could use also it's the new year so target you know is coming out with all their new stuff um and i actually fell in love with this tray you guys like how cute is this i actually picked this up for my bathroom because i thought i could use this and put like a soap dispenser on here instead of like my wooden pedestals i love how the wooden pedestals look but they get so dirty easily so i thought this would be a little bit better just because it's really really good material it's like a uh i want to say like a quartz kind of it's very heavy you could literally like throw this at someone but yeah it's just a marble dish it's from the studio mcgee line this one was 25 dollars, but like i said it is crazy good quality and i'm really excited i also stopped at walmart and just kind of stocked up on some things that i needed i just picked up another one of my l'oreal sulfate free conditioner i actually still like to use this even though my hair is not red anymore i just like it because it's very hydrating and affordable and sulfate free so it's just gonna help kind of preserve that color so i picked up one of those stocked up on my little makeup wipes i love to use these often i also got another one of my favorite deodorant i always pick up the dove clinical protection i like this one because it stays put all day and it doesn't stain my clothing which is nice i also went and picked up some new led bulbs i got these because i actually bought a different set at walmart i like to get my led bulbs and strips there but i got one that actually links to my phone and i did that because the one that came with the remote always like died and you had to replace the batteries so we switched over to the one that goes on your phone and these um are controlled by the same app that i use in the living room so i'm gonna set these up in the bedroom my goal this year is to make over the bedroom as well eventually that's gonna be probably a project that i start in the summer just because there's a lot of like cosmetic stuff that we have to do in there because i'd say out of all the rooms in the house the bedroom definitely is the roughest <laughs> so that's gonna be kind of like a bigger project yeah that's everything oh no actually for the coffee bar i also got this jar um it's really really cute i think it was about less than ten dollars but really cute and really big and i want to put the nespresso pods in here because they're colorful and i thought it would be cute kind of like a little candy jar i'm thinking we should go unbox the nespresso i'm probably not gonna have a coffee today just because i already had a coffee in the morning as you guys saw we did go to starbucks and i don't like to have more than one coffee a day but i do want to set up the coffee bar uh just so that i'm good to go for the rest of the week and i can just enjoy my coffee and not have to worry about setting it up during the work week so we're gonna do that today and put all this away and we're gonna go unbox the nespresso i'm so excited So here's the finished product for the coffee bar. I definitely still need to get some other decor bits for here because I feel like I'm not done. I want it to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but for now it's functional and at least I have it ready to go for the week. So yeah, I just put my pods in that jar and I think they look really cute. And then I just added some little spices to the bar cart and then I put the pumps on 
the bottles like you guys saw. But yeah, I want to see if I can maybe get some cuter bottles on Etsy. And I do want to do something with the backsplash here. We do eventually want to get everything, you know, done professionally. We want to get new countertops, new backsplash. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to order some of that like sticky backsplash just so it's a little more neutral here because that's how crazy I am. Um, but yeah, just going to make it look really cute. But for now, I think it works. And here's the beautiful machine. So this one's just the original Virtuo machine by Nespresso. Really, really cute. It just opens like that. And yeah, our old machine was all black. So we did something different this time and I really like it. And I think it works because like we have stainless steel appliances all around here. So I just think it looks really, really nice. I still gotta go and clean it out before I use it, but just wanted to show you guys how everything's looking so far. Let me tell you what kind of Monday I'm having. So I wake up at like my normal eight o'clock alarm, 8.30ish, and I just, I jump right into work. I don't like to start my mornings like that, but honestly, that's kind of how it's been. Um, you know, ever since I got COVID, it's just been really hard to wake up in the mornings. I'm constantly like, you know, I still have that fatigue going on. Um, and I think that's probably gonna linger around for a while. But anyway, I'm looking at like the phone line at my job and I'm like, wait, why aren't any calls coming in? <laughs> Turns out we were closed and it's Martin Luther King Day. And that just goes to show just how in la la land I am. Like I had no idea, so. Here we are, we have a day off and I pretty much just um, started cleaning a little bit around here and just kind of organizing. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch now, it's around noon. Still debating if I wanna go to my nail girl and see if she has any appointment available today because I really, really need to get these done as you can see. For lunch, I'm gonna have some leftover chicken salad that my mom made for me. She's a godsend and I like pairing mine with um, White rice, that's how uh, Spanish people eat it. <laughs> so I just wanted to update you guys on the coffee bar. We pretty much have the same setup going on except i brought back the keurig because i didn't realize that you can't brew hot water on the nespresso i'm sure you can but from what i hear it's a little bit more complicated and i'm just so used to like one button and go on the keurig you know so i figured it'd be worth it to just keep it this one also has a large pot so it's great for you know in the future when i start hosting things over here I can brew a large pot of coffee because a lot of people are very old school and just like, you know, traditional drip coffee. So I figured it'd be good to just keep it. And I really do love that machine and I love to drink tea. So I think it's worth it to just have both machines. And I just think it looks really cute, like a full coffee bar, you know? So really love it. I also added a little jar with some straws in the back. And I was trying to figure out how to hide my cables because unfortunately my outlet is all the way over here. And the reason I don't have the Nespresso tucked back is because the lid will hit the uh, countertop. So that's kind of at the angle that I have to keep it at. So what I did was just stuff like a plant back there and then my little jars and that kind of hides the cables a little bit. It doesn't look so busy. And I think it's really cute. I am going to go on Amazon and order some... Um, magnetic LED strips to just give this a little bit more lighting and I think it's gonna look really cute eventually we'll be able to replace the backsplash and I just think everything's gonna look nice I did go ahead and tidy up the whole kitchen I actually never showed you guys that we actually picked up this really cute retro looking microwave we actually got it at Walmart and I just think it's so freaking cute like my plan for the kitchen is to actually get rid of um, this cabinetry and add some cute like wooden shelves i want to put another long one over there too 
and obviously change like the light fixture just a lot of things a lot of little things that we want to do in here but for now i think it works this i'm getting rid of and yeah so i'm just gonna enjoy a little bit of this chicken salad so as far as the living room goes this is how it's looking right now i did go ahead and tidy it up this morning we're back to our normal decor but i think it looks really cute and clean and just so cozy this is literally like we can't stop being in this room we just love it so much i love just laying down setting the mood and just watching tons of netflix hulu you know all that good stuff so definitely my favorite room in the house as of now and if you ever wonder what vibe we're going for you just have to read the pillow that we <laughs> got i actually found that at home goods it was on sale for like 15 bucks and it's so cute i love it originally i had got that for the bedroom but because the bedroom is still under construction i feel like i would just keep it over here and i actually really like it it works really great as like a neck support when i'm editing i also forgot to show you guys this was actually one of um steven's christmas gifts i got it for him because he loves anything that has to do with space so if you guys don't know what this is it's a like skylight projector so you just turn it on and you guys it's the coolest thing ever we literally like turn this on at night as soon as the sun goes down and we love just binge watching tv especially when we watch euphoria on sundays we set this up and then i'll set like my led strip to like a pink or a purple and it just gives us all the euphoria vibes it's the best thing ever so i'll link this if you guys are interested highly highly recommend it it is so fun Hi, Lisa. Do you have time for a refill today? Three o'clock? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. So I got an appointment for three o'clock to get my nails done. I have about an hour to kill before my appointment. So what I think I'm going to do is go to the Brazilian bakery because I kind of want to make bonche queijo today. If you don't know what bunch queijo is, it's basically Portuguese for like cheesy bread. So it's really, really good. And you have to get it like specifically at like a Brazilian bakery. So I'm gonna go to get some of that. And then I think on the way back, if I have time, I'm gonna stop at Marshall's because I'm looking for like a little pedestal that I can put in the bathroom because I have these really cute LED candles that I got from Amazon. And so I was thinking it would be nice to just have them sitting on a pedestal right near the tub. Just so like, you know, if I want to take a bath, I can just click the remote, they'll be on. And then that way I don't have to use like an actual candle because that always kind of like makes me kind of nervous that I'm going to like wet the candle and turn the fire out. So I think having those little LED ones will be really cute in the bathroom. And then I do need a runner for the kitchen because I don't have one. If I have time, I'll stop and take a look at Marshalls and see what they have. And then I think that's gonna be it for today. I think after that, I really just wanna come home and just watch Yellow Jackets and eat cheesy bread and just relax, maybe start working on this vlog. Let's go on and get the cheesy bread and we'll see where we go from there. Right, guys i just got back home as you saw i got my nails done so i just went with this little black simple tip and i think it looks really cute i didn't have time to go to marshall's i was gonna stop on my way back home but honestly i'm starving so i just want to you know start baking up those um cheesy breads and i just want to like relax because honestly since the morning i've just been organizing cleaning whatnot so 
just want to relax, watch a show. So I think I'm going to bring everything in and just bake. I didn't get much at Target. All I got was this little mug that I saw. I really liked it because it's really big. And when I was making my coffee this morning, because I did actually use my Nespresso, it was amazing. Um, the cups I had seemed a little bit too skinny. So I like that this one is double walled, but it's like really big and chunky. So I think it'll be perfect for my coffee. So I just got one to see how I like it. And then I did find a cute little soap dispenser from the Magnolia line. I think these are new, I think. I think they're from like the new collection this year um and i got this scent the meadow it smells really good and i figured this would be great because uh once the soap runs out i can just refill this with anything else and it'll be like aesthetically pleasing i really like it i think it's gonna be really cute in the bathroom so yeah that's really all i got i think i will start shopping for other pieces around the house in like another vlog because right now i just I don't feel like doing it. I just want to rest and relax. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. Got my cheesy bread. <laughs> Obviously we're not gonna eat all this, but just for the aesthetics, it's so, so good. Um, just really excited to relax, watch Yellow Jackets, have some cheesy bread and work tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It's so good to be back. I missed you guys so, so much. I know this vlog was kind of all over the place, but that was kind of what it was supposed to be anyway so thank you for hanging out with me love you guys so so much stay safe and i'll see you in my next video bye